Before July 11, 2024, only nine Caribbean countries recognized same-sex marriage. But on July 12th, that number jumped to 12 countries. You see, this delightful change is because Aruba, Curaçao, and St. Martin, three constituent countries within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, finally achieved full marriage equality after years of legal back and forth with the Joint Court of Justice for the Dutch Caribbean, which ruled back in December of 2022 that the three countries were required to legalize same-sex marriage, but unfortunately, the governments of Aruba, Curaçao, and St. Martin refused to comply with the ruling as they remain quite quite religious and socially backwards. The court order introducing marriage equality was set to go into effect on the 7th of March 2023 if not appealed to the Supreme Court. However, the governments of both Aruba and Carousel did appeal before the deadline, thus delaying the ruling indefinitely. Aruba was closest to achieving marriage equality independently when a vote on the matter ended in deadlock with 10 for and 10 against. In Curaçao and St. Martin, little to no progress was made after the ruling, and there had not even been a proper attempt to comply with the court's ruling. Thankfully, despite the countries appealing the ruling and refusing to follow it as long as they could, on July 12th, the High Court of the Netherlands affirmed the earlier 2022 ruling by the Joint Court of Justice for the Dutch Caribbean and decided that marriage equality was to be implemented immediately as not to allow the three governments to drag their feet any longer, as doing so needlessly prolonged the denial of queer citizens' equal rights. Two lesbian couples brought the case to the High Court, despite risk of backlash in their local communities, and their bravery has led to a victory that will positively impact queer couples on the islands, and in time hopefully foster a more free and accepting general public. The High Court highlighted that opponents of same-sex marriage are often religious and wish to restrict other people's rights based on their own personal religious beliefs, and affirmed that while personal religious freedoms must be guaranteed, this religious freedom should never go so far as imposing one's own religious norms, beliefs, and values onto other people. Because Curaçao, Aruba, and St. Martin remain largely conservative societies, the fact that LGBTQ couples now have the equal right to marriage does not magically end homophobia and transphobia within the religious segment of the country's populations. And while many locals on the islands are certainly celebrating, there remains much to be done in order to undo years of hate and intolerance that has been propagated in churches, homes, and schools, and that sought to indoctrinate children from a young age that discrimination and prejudice against LGBTQ people is acceptable. Local activists celebrate the victory today, but continue to fight for full tolerance and equal treatment in society in the days to come. But today, well, today is certainly a good day. And also, if you want to become a citizen of the Queer Kingdom here on YouTube, you can do it for $1 a month by using the link in the description or by clicking the join button. There are exciting things in the works, and I hope that you will partner with me to make them happen, but even just watching and liking today is absolutely incredible and makes you a vital part of this community. It means the absolute world to me, and I have already gotten to know many of you, and you guys keep me going. I know that together we can make a difference and make this world a safer and better place for our people.